Hey guys, so this is part three. Um, the uh, the amount of manual labour having to sculpt these parts is just oh, it's overwhelming. It really is. But we're making great progress, which is the main thing. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm assuming you've watched part one and part two. Uh, if you haven't, you should check them out because it kind of explains what's happening now. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so we had um, done the kind of like really cool evil guards, we got them done um, and I actually went, uh, after I finished filming uh, part two, I went outside, because I can't do it in here because it'll stink the place out with the fumes, so after I finished doing part two, I actually went out and I spray painted the, uh, the parts black, that needs to be black. Um, and then I have given them a clear protective lacquer to make sure that you can hold them but you won't rub off the paint. Uh, and uh, it's turned out pretty damn well. Really, really well. Here it is. Look at that. Obviously this is just the switch section. But that's what the switch section looks like. Lovely, lovely. Very happy with that. I'll pull that back on. Uh, and this is the fins. I don't know, but uh, yeah, these look these look fantastic as well. So I'm really, really happy about these. Um, I'm going to sand these edges down so they're nice and shiny and silver, which will be really great. And then once that's done, I need to find, I need to pick something that can go in this section here. And I'm not sure what to use yet, or what to do. Uh, but we're going to have a really nice chunky pommel, be about that big. Where's the pommel? Oh. I'm all thumbs today, so then we'll have a nice big chunky pommel at the base as well. So yeah, it's it's going well. I'm happy with it so far. Um, so a nice big chunky pommel. I'm tempted just to put black underneath all this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll give that a quick test actually, see what it looks like. But yeah, let's get to uh, let's get to work. Before we get to work, just want to say, please guys, check out my uh, Patreon, £3 a month, and it gets you 10% discount, and f these full build, these vi build videos, just as one big build video, if that's what you're wanting. And I'll also try and get other content up there as well. And as I'm here, please give a quick subscribe and a thumbs up. It's a huge help to me. This is why I'm doing all this, to try and build up uh, build up the people that know about this. Does that make sense? I'm trying, I'm trying to get out there more, so people know more about what it is. So, you know, a, a like would be a huge help. If you want to put a comment in down there, stick a comment in. But a really big help would be a subscribe. Anyway, let's get to it. So uh, I've just realised I'm pausing this a lot more and talking to the camera a lot more than I normally do. I don't know why. I think I think the reason why I'm talking to the camera more is because well, I just want to show you these things. I mean, it it looks really nice, and I've been thinking what to put here. And actually, I'm not going to put anything there. I'm going to leave it and then have the switch section. And I'm thinking of a brown wrap, which will look quite nice going into a silver pommel. 
Um, the reason I'm going to leave that blank is I think it'll just give it a nice, a really nice section to hold on to. Um, it feels really good. And surprisingly, when you're using it, that doesn't dig into you, that bit there. I suppose you could use it that way as well. But it actually feels rather comfortable, to be honest. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do... Oh, no point putting the switch section on yet until the chassis is inside. Uh, I need to do the pommel. So we need to cut the metal down to the pommel, uh, to, the, to the right size on the lathe. So off to the lathe we go. Done. And here it is. I have to admit, the brown, it makes it, it, the brown stands out a lot. But it's a nice transition from all this black and silver and this lovely shiny silver blade edge. But yeah. I've got to say that is nice. I do like that dagger. And it feels like a dagger. You know, it, it doesn't feel like a lightsaber. Is that does that make sense? So with a lightsaber, it's it's much probably around the same weight. It's most probably around the same weight as a lightsaber because of these two guards. I don't know what they're called. Thins? Wings? Things? I don't know, anyway. But yeah, it's most probably uh, like around the same way as a normal lightsaber. The, the brown self-adhesive cloth wrap that I use, that feels really nice, feels really good to hold. Um, it feels very comfortable in the hand, very comfortable. 
and I like the pommel. The pommel's really nice. It's just it's just overall quite a nice like a little dagger. Could you see that sort of like pinned to your your belt? So yeah. Um, you can see the. Uh, need to get a bit of a white down. A bit of dust over this now. You can see the uh, the blade on the night on the wings. Which is quite nice. But yeah, um so I I think that's the end of part three guys. Uh thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um I hope you enjoyed watching the build process for this one. Sorry I talked a lot more than I normally do in a build video. It's normally it's just cut the parts and go straight to the lathe, but obviously it wasn't that much intensive in regards to the lathe work this time. Um which was which was nice but different. But yeah, I mean this has been a fun build so thank you very much uh, I look forward to doing the next build video which is the second dagger again for this really nice gentleman uh, who ordered the first dagger so uh, I hope he's gonna like it I think it's quite cool it's kind of like a vampire feel to it but again no yeah, it's good I, I really like it I think it's quite nice um, yeah I was gonna say so we've got the next build video coming up uh, which will be for the second dagger, so please tune into that. Uh, again, if you've liked what you've seen, guys, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. If you don't enjoy my content at some point, just unsubscribe. It doesn't take a second to do. Um, the more likes I get, the more YouTube will pick this up and actually put it out there. Uh, so I really do appreciate the likes. So just take a second, just click that like for me. Uh, again, don't forget, I've got the Patreon. If you want 10% off any order, get yourself over to Patreon. Get subscribed to that. You'll get this build video as just one big build video. You'll still have me talking, but you won't have the part one, part two bits. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next build video.